Hi everybody. <coughs> okay, you guys are going to be seeing two videos going up today, which is purples and I had to take down my project pan from the 7th of Thursday. Stop that, Blackhawk. Um, and I'll explain the reason why. I got a comment on that video from one of my subscribers, thank you Kenny Nicole, telling me that I did not cut out a part in the video, which you guys probably all seen it already. So I just took it down, I said, you know what, I need to go do it again, because I don't think it's right that I had that up there. I felt so embarrassed after that. So this is going to be my new project pan. I actually found a couple more things I want to go get through, you know, get rid of and go through. Now I haven't worn any of it today. We got up kind of late today. I was hoping to put on some of the makeup so I could do it, but I thought, you know what, I'll just wait until whenever. And I usually only wear my makeup on weekends anyways, because that's when I actually get out of the house and do stuff. But I have it all in here, in this little thing. Um, I just hope I have everything in here. So let's start with the proactive stuff. This stuff, I'm trying to see if I can get my husband to order more because um, I'm able to order more of this for half the price of what it fully costs. This thing fully costs like 50 bucks, 40 something, 42 I think, but this here is, um, this here, I love this. Hold on. Anyways, so this is the proactive advanced daily oil control I rather use the daily oil control proactive because I use all this other proactive you know I use the, the exfoliator the bar of soap I use the um let's see I got both of them right here in front of me this one is I use the uh, pore uh, targeting treatment which is almost done that would be in my empties um, I also have the um, the condition protection one the hydrating one and then I have this one and there's another one I got like I think in the beginning I want to go through this one so this is what I want to go through is the proactive let me show you this one again Hi. reject that was my mother um, advanced daily oil control I want to you know use that up so I can get a new bottle the only thing I don't like about this negative but it comes out so fast. You got to be slow with when you squeeze it because if you squeeze it, it comes out like water. So that's one bad thing about it, but it works. The next thing I want to use is kind of dirty, don't mind it, is the um, the skin profiling, profiling mask. Performing mask. I'll show you. It's kind of dirty. I'm sorry. But I think like this is how much is used. I think I probably can get more out of this. But this stuff is nice. You put this on like after you put your treatment on. After you do the whole nine yards. And um, you put this on your face and then you let it sit for like 10 minutes or one day I did it overnight. Um, let it sit there for 10 minutes and then wash it off. That's what you do. So I'm going to try to go through this. The next thing, of course that fell again. The next thing I want to go through is, which I need to get another one of these, is a L'Oreal Inflatable Setting Spray. Which honestly, I don't know if you can see. No, you can't really see. It's a dark bottle. How much is in there? I think I got probably half. So I kind of want to go through. I wish I could find a bigger bottle of this. Maybe I'll look in Ulta for a bigger bottle. Then I need to go through, which I kind of think that I'm kind of almost out. I don't know. I think this is half. This is the CoverGirl Outlast All Day Primer. This is a new one that they came out with. The new line. I guess it's called the All Day line. So I want to use this up. This stuff is good. I might repurchase this again. I don't know. I'm going to put this to the side because there's questions I have to ask. Okay, the next one I'm going to use up is the CoverGirl Plus Olay um, Simply Ageless in 240 and I'll show you I know my last video that I went and I went to use this and guess what it was all gone no there's some a lot of product in here so I want to use that up I just hope that I don't use any of this stuff up this whole month because ugh, I'll be out I don't really got no money okay the next one is I want to use up this NYX um, the eye creamer I mean the eye creamer the eye 
uh, uh, base eye primer. That's what it's called. Okay. The next one I want to use up is my, uh, what's this called? Palado, Palodio, um, eye liner. Now my question, I have problems with eyeliners. I don't understand what the problem is. I'm sitting here, I will put this eyeliner on. Any, I have problems with any eyeliner. Okay, any of them. And they sit here and they still come off my eyes. It could be waterproof, it could be stay on, it could be max stay on, anything. Now, I've only stuck with all my life was pencils because I honestly like the pencil better. Don't ask me why I'm willing to try something new if as long as I can reply it once and don't have to go back five minutes later or an hour later to reply it again. So I'm putting that in the pile. Harley, what are you doing? Okay, the next one is I'm trying to use this up, but it, my habit is is I get lazy and I don't do it. This is nail um, oil for the nail. Cuticle oil, that's it. I've been oh, too close, Carla. I mean, want to use this up. You see how much I got in there. I gotta use this up so I can at least get rid of one bottle of something. Okay. Now I have two eyeliners I want to use up. One is from the L'Oreal, and this is the Volumize one. I'll show you the brush on just in case you guys don't see, haven't seen the brush. And the reason why I don't like this because it's like bendy. You know, that's what the brush looks like. But you know what? It's a good mascara. I really do like it. What I do is before I do like my makeup, I, you know, use my eye lash curler. Then I apply this. Then I apply my eyeliner. Not my eyeliner. My uh, eyeshadow, which I'll show you the eyeshadow right now as I'm going through what I do. Um, this I don't know the name of this. this is from CoverGirl. Uh, the words are the words are all, you know, like wiped off from so much use but that's what this is and the reason why I wish they still had these because I love this this is the brush I wish they still had these these kind of eye shadows because I like it but I still love my chocolate bar Ugh. that out past this <laughs> so then I then after I apply this I apply that then I apply afterwards is the CoverGirl uh, full lash balm I applied this and this brush I really like and CoverGirl just came out with a new one I kind of want to try it and I do want to try the the Ready Sex Gorgeous one if I'm saying it right so these two I want to get rid of um let's see okay I also want to get rid of this this really works I've been using it and I do love it this is called um, Nail Polish Corrector Pen. It's from CVS. I'm trying to read. This is quickly and easy erase manicure mistakes. So I want to get rid of this. And it comes with like four of the little things. And actually, it comes with five because one, the other one is still atta attached. You can see I've been using it. And it there is like water on it. I mean, not water, but uh, acetone. I wish this way you could refill the acetone up, but I don't think you can. I tried looking. Okay, the next thing is the perfume. And this is the Peach Peachka Hawaiian Ruby java or gava that's what it looks like in the inside it smells nice to me it smells like soap okay the next one is three eyeshadows which i haven't used them yet but one i did use for um halloween i think no i used it like after i bought it i don't know it wasn't for halloween but i bought it before christmas this one is called Twinkle in your in your eye. This is twinkle in your eye. You can see I already hit pan, but I want to use this up. The next one is Diamond. 
I should know these by heart. I've said this like 500 times. And I haven't used diamond yet. Well, have I? I don't know, but it is very pretty. It looks like a, it looks like a hit pan a little bit, but it's very pretty. And then this last one is called snow. I'm very pigmented. That is very pigmented. Oh man. I did it in my pants. <laughs> and it comes off very easily. Okay, and the last one I want to use. Let me put this all back in here. Those I'm leaving out because I'm going to ask you guys what's better. Okay, the last one I want to use is I picked out, I had four lipsticks from CoverGirl. <laughs> now, if you guys remember, I put up a, um, a review on those lipsticks that I was using from Too Faced. The one that was in that that pack, I wanted to keep that. Oh my god, I wanted to keep that. I got her in purse so bad. But I had to return it. So, I was going to use those as my project pan, but I couldn't hang with that. I had the lipstick on, and it was like after I had it on, it, was like, it felt like I had stuff here, here. I'm going like this, like I'm doing now. But I'm used, I picked out a CoverGirl one, and I really do love it, and it does stay on. Really, Blackhawk? I'm making a video, and you're in the way, crazy kitty. This is my bad hawk. He's psycho because his tail's going, his ears are back. Oh, here comes a dog. He's going to ruin it all. Okay, this one is called Pink Shock. Harley, stop. This is Pink Shock. Back off. Now, I'm going to show you. This is all the way down, okay? See how much down it is? Now, I'm going to show you how much more I got to use. That's a lot. So, I got all that to use. So, I mean, I love this. But I'm willing to go through it, you know. Now, now let's get to the thing I want to talk to you guys about. Okay, I have four different things here. Actually, five different things I want you guys to give me answers on in the comments below. I want another primer. I do want to try another primer. I might purchase this for, like, you know, every day. Like, if I want to do my makeup every day or if I just feel like doing something quick and easy. Well, usually primer is put not quick and easy. But I just want to try a different primer. But this seems like it works for me. So I, I'm going to repurchase this again. And if you guys have any of the better primers that's really nice. Or that is for pimples. Like to help, you know, get rid of pimples or help, um, you know, that has like some kind of like pimple uh, medicine inside of it to help with my face. That would help too. Um, I want a different foundation that is a hundred percent coverage a hundred percent stay on power now this does have good coverage don't get me wrong this does and this does make my face look like there's nothing on there but there is a problem sometimes if I have bigger bumps like I got one right over here you can see it but if I have my hair down you can't see it but I want to find one that covers everything like you, like if you look at me, you don't see no, nothing on my face. Now, another problem I have with this is I notice like if I put it on my face, even with the setting powder, uh, the spray, spray stuff, I can still stick my phone. If I'm on the phone talking to somebody and I look, my makeup's on here, on the phone or on my hand or on my glasses or whatever, you know. So I want, if you guys know a better, uh, um foundation is good. I don't want something that's glossy. I want something that's matte. I think matte looks good on, on me. And this is matte too. You guys have seen pictures. Okay, the next one I do want to find is a different eye primer. Maybe bigger eye primer. Um, that is really good. Honestly, I really don't care for price. I'll buy it. Oh, he's chewing his bone. He's like gnawing on himself. But um, a better eye primer and probably an easier way to apply it. I'll show you what I've been using. It was in here. Oh, here it is. I've been applying it with this brush. This came from Ulta. And the brush, the bristles are hard. I mean, I don't know what a better brush is to apply it, but I get, I like get a good mount on it and I just rub it and I use my finger to rub it in. But, I mean, if you guys know a better brush to use, it's something cheap. I mean, I, me, I don't want to spend, like, $500 on a brush 
that is going to end up, you know, in the garbage maybe a couple months later. I want to brush that, you know, I can buy like for a dollar or like maybe two dollars. That is good for this. Good for the eye um, shadow. So a very good eyeshadow. If you guys think this is a good eyeshadow, I mean, let me know in the comments. But if you guys know something better, let me know in the comments also. Okay, the next one is I need a better eyeliner. I told you guys that I need a heck of a better eyeliner that will stick on. I don't have to reply it 500 times. That's what I'm looking for. And honestly, I'm willing to try anything. The only thing I will not try, I got an eyeliner one time and had a really teeny tiny fine bristle brush. I tried putting it on. It was tickling my eye. I was like, uh-uh, this is going back. And I asked somebody at uh, Walgreens about it. And they're like, yeah, try this, this works. And I went home, I'm looking at the brush, I'm like, huh? What? All right, let me try it. So I tried it, I'm like, no, this is going back. I couldn't do it. And then I do want to try a lipstick. I, you guys know I tried the Too Faced uh, Melt lipsticks. I don't like, the only thing I don't like about them is, the, they say it's stain. The stain looks like, to me, it's coming off. Okay, now I don't mind plying a lipstick like say after I eat. I don't mind doing that because I think it's a habit. I think it's normal that you go and like just get some of it off at least and put another coat of fresh lipstick on. That I don't mind doing. But um, sometimes, you know, I would do want a lipstick that is, um, you know, that is matte and that has shimmer in, in it and it does not feel like, you know, you got like gloss on. I hate that glossy feeling. God, was I know that vision. She's trying to kiss the cat. But anyway, so if you guys know any lipstick that stays on very well and that has shimmer in it but does not feel like a gloss or like that stuff you put on your lips when your lips are dry, that stuff, anything like that, I don't want. But a good lipstick that that's matte and has shimmer in it and that stays on. I've probably been repeating myself five hundred times already. But I love the CoverGirl. I've the thing is with CoverGirl, I've always turned to them because I've dealt with CoverGirl practically since I started liking makeup. CoverGirl is my go-to drugstore makeup. I me, I'm actually shocked that I actually own an eye an eye. What are you doing? An eye um, mascara that's not CoverGirl, but. I wanted to try this out. I've seen people rave about this. So my subscriber, Vicky, got this for me. And I'm actually proud that I'm actually using it. I do like it. It does. It's nice. I do like it. Don't get me wrong. I don't. This is no hate on this one. This I'm having trouble with. I do have another eyeliner I got from um, Sally's. But if I can find a better one, I'd rather use that. I'll give the other one to my friend that I have side stuff for, for her. And um, I've never honestly used any... I mean, when you guys first, you know, met me, my basic makeup was just foundation. This foundation, my CoverGirl foundation. Um, eyeliner. Um, was this eyeshadow. It was probably this eyeliner. Um, what else did I have? Oh, uh, mascara. It was probably the CoverGirl mascara. And, the, and a lipstick. It was mostly all CoverGirl products that I would use for my face for makeup now since you know I'm watching YouTube more and I'm learning a little bit more about makeup I'm going out and finding more because me I like stay on makeup I don't like going back and replying blush or you know eyeshadow I hate it I do I hate it but I hope you guys like this video please comment below the questions I had about the certain products um you guys will see two videos today I am so sorry about this I hope you guys enjoy your week. Today you'll also see my purples going up. Tomorrow I think it's greens. I'm not really sure. I'll look at my planner. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you guys whenever. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Before I let you go, one exciting thing I got. I actually have the whole entire Hello Kitty from OPI collection. Stay tuned for that. Um haul review so far i've worn one of the polishes and i'm in love so stay tuned okay okay bye